the sage and brush watercolors again. Uh, we're still with our lighthouse series, and what I did this morning, I think when when uh, we left off, I had painted in some of this, the black around here, and the combination to make black I, that I was using was alizarin crimson, indigo, and burnt umber. And then this morning, I, I just kept going with that same black that, that I made, and I put in some of the raw iron kinds of railings you can see and I did that with a kind of a rigger brush small brush I also darkened these windows a little bit and let's see what else did I do uh, the, the other thing I did was I took a little lemon yellow on a brush and I put it under under this eave and under this eave and also under here and that that helps to give an effect. It's almost like bounce light coming up. And today we're just gonna we're gonna work on the roof. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm gonna do is put a very a light uh, brown. It's kind of a raw combination of raw sienna, and I think there's uh, probably a little light red mixed in. And this is going to be the lightest part of the roof, and and I. I didn't bother to uh, use the mask, masking fluid this time. I'm just going to paint around the areas that I need to. So I might make <laughs> some mistakes like that. So that's the undercoat. And actually, I just realized something while I'm at it. I'm going to put a hint of that same combination in, into the lens up here. Just a hint. It just it makes for good coordination throughout the painting to use the same colors in different places. Now I have to let that dry. So again, keeping in mind where my light source is, um, so I know the light's coming this way. So I'm going to use a little, a little bit of blue green because I know it's going to cast a shadow right here, and also behind this chimney. Also, this will be in shadow. This part of the roof, and so will this, and this. So I'm just putting in the shadow areas, and I'm using a complementary color. This is a, I used a nice warm brown, and so I'm using kind of a blue-green for the shadow parts here. And then I'll go over that and make it, make it darker then. Okay, next, I'm going to do what a lot of people call a dry brush technique, which is just like it sounds. You just don't have much water on the brush. It's mostly paint, and it's a darker brown than what's, what I've already put down. And it's just to add a little texture, a hint of texture, you know, just to make the roof look interesting. You don't have to, it's just whether they be shingles or whatever. It's just to add a little texture and, and uh, interest. And all these decisions are artistic decisions. Uh, just decide what you want to do. And uh, 
Okay, we'll let that sit for a minute. Okay, now I'm just going to look at that roof for a while and I'll probably end up going back with a finer brush and making it look more like distinctive uh, shingles or tiles. But for now, it's, it's that impressionistic rough effect. Now, uh, I'm going to use darker brown, maybe even with a little bit of blue it mixed in. And we'll, we'll start, to, we'll make the shadow darker here. The same here. Because the sunlight's coming that way. It's always like the way you portray light is by painting in the, sh the shadow. So, in terms of our lens and in, in, in our lighthouse, um, it's probably going to, in, in real life, fairly clear and then you could see the sky behind it, but as I mentioned, I brought some of this color up. I wanted to have a little bit of a glow. And that's why I put a little, there's a little bit of yellow up in here. It's just, it's just to draw your eye. And uh, I'm always thinking about how to, how to uh, draw attention to certain areas of my painting and, and other areas, areas where I don't want a lot of attention. So I want people to look at the uh, at the uh, lens, but that's not the total focal point. It's more the whole lighthouse. Okay, so that's all for the lighthouse today. <clears throat> and uh, today's memo is that uh, painting is not time out from your life. Uh, it like everything else you do that is motivated by joy and love, is really a time when you're most alive. Um, and <clears throat> I want to thank you again for, for uh, appreciating what, what we're doing here and, and watching. And uh, also invite you, to, if you have any specific questions or comments or anything, uh, just below the videos on YouTube, there's a place where you can, you can ask me a question. I'm happy to respond. Uh, try to answer all your questions. So thanks. <clears throat> See you next time.